with a crime alert. Take a good look at this terrifying surveillance video. It was less than a week ago when police put out a bulletin for Terrence Giddens, the man accused of stealing beer and causing a four vehicle wreck on Government Boulevard. Tonight, Giddens is in Metro Jail. Gabby Easterwood was at Mobile Police Headquarters when Giddens was being escorted to jail. Well, Giddens spoke continuously as he was escorted out of Mobile Police Headquarters here to Mobile Metro Jail. He spoke about a woman, his child, and had a quick apology. I'm sorry. That was Giddens' final words as he was put into the back of the patrol car on his way to Metro Jail. That apology coming for the store clerk injured as he was dangling on the hood of Giddens' vehicle as he drove into oncoming traffic, causing that major wreck. <laughs> As Giddens was escorted out, he kept referring to a woman and his daughter. She know what was going on. She know what the is. She know what go on. She know what it is. She ain't gonna do nothing. Put my daughter out again, like she always do. That's why I had my daughter. What you mean? Streets know what it is. Police say this may be in reference to his child's mother. Yeah, they know I take care of my daughter, and I'll be back at on burn. Possibly the same woman seen in the shocking footage, still on scene as Giddens hands off one of the children and flees the scene with the other. One one of those kids was his, um, and throughout the, the the incident, there was only one child safety seat in the vehicle. Police also giving us insight into how they found Giddens at Seabreeze Court. He was inside of an apartment. Uh, he came to the door. He saw police. He climbed into uh, the attic where he entered a neighboring apartment. Once he was in the neighboring apartment, he exited out the back door and fled on foot. The foot pursuit ensued. The subject was apprehended and taken into custody. Giddens now facing burglary in the first, reckless endangerment, assault in the first, and leaving the scene of an accident. More charges added today. Burglary third, attempting to elude and uh, multiple felony warrants. Now, police tell us they cannot give us the name of the clerk, but they do say that he is still in critical condition in the hospital. And as for the other people who were injured in the wreck, all of them had non-life-threatening injuries. Reporting in Mobile, I'm Gabby Easterwood, WKRG News 5.